Hello there everybody. This is the masked GUI in my lovely little cottage thing. It's getting dark now, so hopefully the darkness isn't going to affect my house because at the moment I don't have any torches. Basically to make torches you need sticks, which are easy, you know, like get two planks one on top of the other, and there's sticks. And you also need coal which you have to mine from rocks. Sometimes you can find loads of coal really really easily. Other times it takes you a while. I mean I found iron before I found coal. That's a bad sign. But I mean when the sun comes back up again I'm going to just try and go to the cave and hope I find some sort of coal or long cave that I can mine and explore properly. But for now I'm going to try and go to sleep and hope that there's going to be nothing spawning around me. Because if you, for example, throw a house down outside and it's dark and there's monsters spawning, if you go to sleep then you can wake up in the middle of the night surrounded by creatures. And it's considering how dark it is in here, the very same could happen. So I'm going to take a risk and sleep. There we go. It just takes me to morning. So at that time I was lucky. And now it's back to daytime and I can go out and ex Oops. I can go out and explore again. So, whoa. There's a burning skeleton. There's two burning skeletons in fact. Whoa. Keep away from him. There we go. And I'll pick up these arrows. Wait, where am I going? Oh yeah, I should follow my dirt bridge. I forgot about that. Wow, there's a lot of sheep around. Here we go. Now where was I standing last time when I heard groaning? It was around this area. So I think I'm just gonna start like... Is there anything down there? Is there anything across this way? Hmm. Maybe I was wrong and there's actually no dungeon around here. It wouldn't be the first time it's happened. Hmm. What if I dig down here? Oh yeah, the stuff that looks like sand, but is slightly less speckly, is sandstone. Which is almost like sand. It's compressed, like if you get four sand in the same way that you make a working uh, crafting bench, crafting table, then it makes sandstone, which doesn't apply to gravity, so it's a better structure for like a house or something. Now I'm gonna try going down this way instead. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> there we go. I knew there was something down here. And yeah, granted it's not a dungeon, I should have made torch. Oh wait, no, I can make torches. Never mind. Okay, now I use my wooden pickaxe, because you can't mine iron with stu uh, wooden pickaxe. Oh, I've already said that, yeah. I said that in my last video. So I need to use my stone pickaxe. But at least I have finally found coal again. And then I just had to find my way back out. Whoa! Oh no, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. That's not good. I'm not sure if you watching the videos just heard that kind of a windy sound. That is the sound that it makes, you know, when you're in a cavern. A big deep cavern is like, you know, the kind of an echo or the wind blowing through it. That sound is used to represent that, so hopefully this place will be huge. And lead me to lots and lots of good stuff. So I think now that I've got coal, my first priority should be to make torches. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot I've already made torches. Sorry, the fact that I'm kind of down to nothing again makes me forget that I already did, th did some of this stuff before. Okay then, I'll put these here. 
Whoops. Great. I can go over in that direction, but first this place looks a bit more like a dead end. Yeah. Everything except up there. But for now I'm going to get the rest of this coal. The sooner I can just like wear out this wooden pickaxe the better because I don't... Shh. Okay, there's definitely... Whoa, he's got lots of... he's got a lot louder. Okay, now I'm a little bit concerned because this cave is huge. But anyway, yeah, the sooner I can get rid of the wooden pickaxe and general tools is the better because, you know, they're the worst and, you know, once you've kind of like got better th better stuff, I mean, once you start mining stone, really, wood just, wooden tools will suddenly become completely obsolete. Okay, this guy sounds really close. As long as I don't dig like straight up again, like I did before. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I'm digging straight up again. Didn't I just say I was not going to do that? I should really just pay attention to what I say and try and actually do that. Okay, so that area was safe. Now I'll dig some of this stuff out of the way. Because I think there's still some coal behind it. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be any other creatures up there. I hope. Yeah, it looks safe enough. And I think this is the last of this coal. Good. Now we'll go down here and see if there's anything in here. Nope. That's safe. But I think before I go too far in there, I'm going to investigate this little bit of gravel. Yeah, that looks safe. And then time to go into the deep. So everybody, which way should I go? If I was willing to wait that long for a response as to whether I should go left or right, I would. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna go in this direction. Oh wait! There we go, my mind's made up. I'll go to the right. But first, I'm gonna give me some iron. And I just seem to be moving ever closer to... Um... Whoa! Ever closer to probable death. I'll do that in a minute. But for now... Oh, I guess I'm gonna do it right now, because that's also a dead end. Hmm... So, wish me luck! Jeez, this place is huge! Oh! Ah! Ah! Where's my sword? Get away from me! And in kicks the inappropriate music. I'm angry at the music now ever since it killed me. Whoa! Creeper! Ah! Zombie! <laughs> ah! No! Ah! I'm scared! I'm scared. Everything's trying to kill me. Ah! Creeper! No, stay away! Okay, I'm get- I'm getting out of here. <laughs> as fast as possible. Before I get traumatized by this game. Where's the exit? Hmm. I think I'll take this first. And now that I have, like, coal and stuff, I'm gonna make sure I have enough stone, too. Whoa! One hit from that, and it would've killed me. Oh yeah, I had to stop pausing. 
How much? Okay, I have enough cobble to make a furnace, so I'll be able to cook my pork. Once I find the exit, that is. Okay, there it is. Wow, I'm a lot deeper than I thought I was. Take this stuff away. Whoa. I have to watch out here now because it's sandstone. Oh no, it's not sandstone. It's regular sand. And I don't want to get crushed by it. That could just as easily happen. Like so. There we go. Nearly out. Okay. That'll do. Yeah. Apparently there's a cave down here too. Oh wait, no, that was where I found the iron. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that was where I found the iron. Okay, I'm confused. But anyway, at least now I know that there's somewhere I can do. Or somewhere I can go. Which will add more to the videos. Whoa! <laughs> It's a pink sheep! That is so cool! I was actually thinking just the other day that would be so cool if you could get the colours of the sheep because there's all different colours of wool and if you could actually get different coloured sheep corresponding to each wool. <laughs> that is so cool! Now then, trying to make myself a furnace which I've already shown you how to do but it's a circle or a hollow square or whatever of stone. I'll put it over here. Now then, I think my top priority is cooking pork chop. I'm gonna half that stack, and in the meantime, I'm. Well, I already have two torches. So I'll light my house. Now I'm gonna cook some food. Ding! There we go. Now my hearts aren't jiggling at me anymore. But just for you say if I'll eat that much. And I'll cook the rest of it. And then I'll put my iron into the furnace and leave it smelt. I can also put sand in the furnace and it'll make glass. Which as you can guess is good for windows and stuff. But right now I don't want to waste my coal. I'll probably i I'll probably work on that when I have a lot more. Also, you can put cobblestone into the furnace and you'll it'll restore it back to regular stone. Now I just realized that I should probably be kind of watching how long the video is to an extent. So yeah. But anyway, sorry I'm just getting distracted. So now I oh wait. Yeah okay now my food is cooked I'm gonna put the iron in there so it'll make me some good iron so I can make tools and I'll finally be able to make some shears so I can get wool from sheep properly. I could also make a lighter if I wanted to but in a wooden house with a flint and tinder I probably wouldn't get along too well because I'd probably accidentally set it on fire or something. Actually I'm going to take these two pieces of iron and make a shears which is basically diagonal one bottom left, one the bottom and the top right. Or if you want to mix it up, one the top left and one the bottom right. Which will make you shears. Which you can use I was just gonna say, I'll go outside and show you how to use it. But it's night time. So I'm now going to safely sleep now that there's lighting in my house. <laughs> 